started in 2013 and has been the inside guide to all things Hollywood, film, culture and literature for the past eight years. But in my opinion, it's in the last year that the podcast has really taken off in terms of both content and style. Before the Walter Kern episode, published September 6, 2020, Brett released the first installment of an unnamed serialized memoir recalling the time that shaped his writing and himself. It was a time when serial killers stalked the darkened alleys of California. It's also a time when Brett found himself navigating the privileged and decadent world of private high school in Los Angeles. A new student arrives in Brett's senior year, and we know this arrival will set in motion a sequence of events that have haunted Brett his entire life. This new audio memoir is called The Shards, and let me be bold. It is the perfect blend of Brett Easton Ellis, the author, host, and social commentator. Each installment has you waiting for the next, and you spend the two weeks between each podcast episode debating what is this, what happened, is it real, did this really happen? Which brings us to the book club and this live stream. As patrons of the podcast, we decided to read each of Brett's books one by one and discuss them with special guests and all of you. Forgot my platinum card. Brett's third novel, American Psycho, is his most famous and controversial novel. It follows the exploits, real or imagined, of a young, insecure stockbroker named Patrick Bateman. He's obsessed with dinner, suits, movies, music, porn, drugs, and murder equally. He's hungry to feel something, anything, and he wants to fit in. Before it was published, some concerned employees of the publisher, Simon & Schuster, leaked some of the more violent passages to the press, which led to Simon & Schuster cancelling the publication. The novel eventually did get published on March 6, 1991, about 30 years ago today. But the controversy didn't stop there. Instead of seeing it as a clear indictment of materialism and greed, which it clearly was, some critics found the violence too unsettling and the treatment of women misogynistic. Little did the critics know that in 30 years, Everyone would see his or her shopping, sex, and socializing flattened together on a little black screen. <laughs> We're all Patrick Bateman now. We're even obsessed with Trump, for goodness sakes. Who could have called that? We have a wonderful live stream for you tonight. Just remember, if you want to join in the discussion, to comment on the YouTube live stream. Our guests tonight include the sociologist and comedian Mette Kuschold. We have the authors Bjorn Halderson and Helga Mahalgesen. We also have the author of Train Spotting. Irvin Welsh. Another interview includes the writer of the film adaption of American Psycho, Guinevere Turner. All of the selected readings are produced and read by Colden Martin.